Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich is finally taking action. For me, this is absolutely a major win and a major first step. He put out two letters today, one to the Senate telling them to give him everything, including the redacted versions of the report and every report they have and every document in relation to the audit results, and another letter to the county telling them to preserve every single record about the 2020 election and the primaries they have. By the way, a litigation hold or legal hold is like a restraining order against the information so they can't delete it or change it or do anything else. So yeah, obviously, I'm not going to shy away from my delusional optimism. I think this is absolutely a big win. Since February, I have had to deal with people telling me, well, this isn't going to matter anyways. The audit results will happen, and then no one will go to jail for doing what they did. And I can empathize with that. A lot of people have lost trust in the legal system. But we are in uncharted territory. You cannot make conclusions right now. The scrutiny this audit has survived is ludicrous. We were in court like five times and we survived every single case. We survived injunctions and liberal judges that were far leftist that actually ended up agreeing with the audit. It's clear to me that God wants this state to be the first domino to fall. I want three things to come out of this audit. One, decertification. It's obvious why. The election results can't be trusted. Let's decertify. Two, I want people to go to jail, be held accountable. And three, I want future legislation that bans machines, removes mail-in ballots. There's more, but I don't have enough time to tell you. I don't care how long it takes to get to that. We have to get to it. I find this to be incredibly funny. It's been three days since the audit results were announced to the world. And people want indictments. <laughs> you all want indictments. And I get it. I understand. But just to put it into context, John Durham's investigation took us two years since 2019. And uh, one indictment. Conservatives are held to a higher standard in court. I'm sorry, but that's going to take longer. The certification can happen almost any day. Tomorrow, perhaps, right? Because we can convince two senators to switch their votes from no to yes. Or we get injunctive relief from a court that freezes the Arizona electors in court. I don't know. Whatever it is, it can come in whatever way. But indictments take time. I am so sorry to inform some people, but we actually live in a country where you are innocent until proven guilty. At this moment in time, we can only say the election results cannot be trusted. We can't prove that the actions of the Board of Supervisors or any people specifically subverted the will of the Arizonan people at the counting room. We cannot say that. So we need patience. You know, there's this trend going on where we get something great going for us. And instead of thanking God, we just find new things to complain about. Let's get back to thanking God a little bit more. I get it. People don't trust the legal system. There's plenty of reason not to. But we still live in the greatest country in the world. I'd hate for my vote to be stolen in Venezuela. Ten times as much.